Okay, Mercury, Mercury Retrograde is all over my phone. This is the second time I am recording. I'm trying to record this video without losing it. So, oh, <laughs> what I wanted to record is um, is a certain feeling I have currently. Um, tonight I had a dream that kind of um, confirmed <laughs> or shed a bit, a bit more light on, on that feeling or on that topic. I dreamt that I was an actress um, playing in a movie and we were, I was together with all, all the other people that were playing in the movie and we were on a set. And it was a huge set and with a lot of things going on and it was outside. And while we were doing our stuff, things going on, there was like a huge airplane um, flying over us. And I looked up and it looks like a square airplane. It wasn't like a regular airplane, it was like a square airplane. And I could see who sits in that airplane because the roof, there was no roof, it was basically open. And when I looked back, I looked at all the other people and they were all of a sudden super scared. They were running around, they were yelling, they were crying, um, a lot of excitement and ter like a terrific moment occurred like out of nowhere. I didn't know what's going on. So the guy in front of me said, oh, damn it, they came. And I still didn't get it. And he was saying, um, they are gonna control all of us. And I was like, what, what kind of control? And I suddenly realized, oh damn, I don't have a working visa. Um, so basically what I'm doing here, I'm not allowed to do. And I was kind of getting panicked, <laughs> worried. And the dream, did continue but i cannot really remember i woke up and i had that feeling of and that's the feeling that i have lately very strongly is that kind of worry all the time like actually two feelings like one is worry all the time like i feel like i am worried all the time about so many things but especially finances and I can see how those thoughts are truly so intrusive they are dominating my entire day and I'm like what is this I mean yes it's not like I am a multi-millionaire but I'm not living on the street either so there's always a solution to everything and I have seen that in the past like several times truly and still I am in that mode of constant worry and it's kind of <sighs> eating up my brain <laughs> so to speak so that's one thing and the other thing that I'm feeling lately is the boredom And it comes with living in this area and living with certain kind of people that reflect the middle class. And I'm not trying <laughs> to insult anybody or to judge anybody or anything. It's a certain lifestyle that I observe. And I observe that I'm finding myself in that quite often lately. Um, and the middle class lifestyle to me is that I can see that people are working. Sometimes in a job they studied and they actually wanted to be in. And sometimes 
they don't want to be in that job anymore. But either way, it's the same thing that you get up in the morning, you do your job, you come home, then you do all the things that you have to do. You do the laundry, you do the garden, you uh, wash the dishes, um, then you get your dinner, then maybe you watch TV or you read or whatever, and then you go to bed, you sleep, and then the next day you get up again, you go to work, you come home and so forth and so I mean like and even if you're doing that and you're doing that to pay your rent and you're doing that to pay your bills and basically you're doing it to survive it, you still I feel like people are constantly in worry like constantly constantly in worry um, about how things gonna turn out or um, if they're doing the right thing and it's combined with a feeling of boredom or purposelessness it's like a lack of purpose and it kind of drives you nuts it's like I feel like it drives me nuts that combination drives me nuts and in the dream those people and including me who are doing a movie we were playing in a movie we were kind of uh actually following our passion being an actress being a performer or an actor it's like you would assume that as you do it because that's your passion and i felt like in the dream even those people who follow their dream they are constantly worried that they doing something wrong <laughs> and it's like it's to me it was i woke up and i had that feeling like the main thing is worry you can do the job do a job a regular job or you can follow your passion either way you're stuck in the worry and it kind of drives people nuts it's It's a and worry, constant worry about anything and not being capable to trust or feel the connection to the divine that will always guide you and always help you out. If you don't have that connection, you're always in worry. I feel like it uh, can't like it can ar arrive it can get to a level where you kind of get paranoid about everything and everybody it's like this is a problem they are a problem that is a problem and you're constantly in that like you and you begin to search for problems that make you worry <laughs> and i feel like it's a collective thing it's a collective thing of humankind that we are experiencing having that worry about so many things all the freaking time and then of course we want to still that chatter sometimes some people want that some people don't <laughs> but some people want and what are we doing if we want to ease the mind still the mind we meditate we try to connect and get calm and even if we achieve that once we are done with our meditation we go back into the world that is super chattery super worrying constantly on the go and it fills up our brain, our mind, to a level where we say, mm, we're gonna go back to meditate, <laughs> meditation. Then we meditate, get still, and then we go back. And to me, it's like, what is the point about that? It's a ping pong game. So realizing that I understood for myself today that 
I don't want to use meditation anymore to ease my mind, to still my mind. Rather than doing that, I want to live a life that is calm and at ease and with less worry. This is what I want. And I think we deserve it. And I think as the things that I've channeled, I understand that the collective worry of humankind has its base on how they were treated many, many, many years ago when they were enslaved by other races that came to earth and saw this species and how they can manipulate them, how they can enslave us or them, <laughs> I feel like I'm both, <laughs> to their own purpose. And enslavement causes deep trauma in the soul. This trauma is reflected in the constant worry that humankind has as a collective. And it's reflected in the world that we build up, that we actually are living in a system. We organize this world in a way that it causes us worry that we do everything wrong or right, or that we're constantly on the go mode. So, <laughs> To escape that, to escape the collective feeling of constant worry, I feel like I have to learn a new way how this world is functioning and to use it, how the quantum realm of our world is functioning and to use it in a way that gives me peace, that gives me tranquility and today is world peace day <laughs> without me constantly fighting for it constantly going back into meditation and getting that peace so i want to try to live life on a daily basis every second every minute in a calm and tranquil way and when worries arise and they will because we all are programmed in that way to ease it by going back to trusting in the divine trusting that me with my willpower i can witchy <laughs> magically turn situations around but i have to learn how to do that and i trust my guidance and i trust my higher self that they teach me how to do that but i think i have to make the decision how i want to live my life and it's definitely not in worry it's in ease it's in peace it's in joy and in freedom, that is freedom to me.